discuss about constructors in a detailed manner using uh, theoretical content and also using some program so first what is a constructor constructor initializes an object when it's created so in the previous video we have seen about the how to create an object like that so when we create an object we should assign some value to the variables which are present inside the object for example if we create a human object we need to assign variables like height weight and etc with those are the states of an object you can assign the values to the variables which are present inside the object using constructors so this is the first point second point is it must have same name here is a typo it must have same name as its class name so the constructor name and the class name should be same and the third point it should have it shouldn't have no written types sorry it shouldn't have written types so it shouldn't contain any written types at all fourth point is java provides default constructor if you fail to provide one so java automatically uh, automatically picks a default constructor even if you fail to provide the default constructor so there are two types of constructors one is no argument constructor and then second one is parameterized constructor as the name is still suggesting that no argument constructor won't accept any parameters at all whereas parameters constructor will accept parameters so these are the two basic difference between no argument and parameters constructor we will try to explain that using some example some example code yeah constructor ex is the class name int test is the class variable and then there is a comment no argument constructor so this is the first constructor and this is the second constructor the in the first constructor which is default constructor or no argument constructor you have trying to assign some default value to this variable so this dot test equal to 0 this has some special meaning i have already covered about that meaning in the previous video so please go and watch that video also for better understanding purposes and then here there is a parameterized constructor so when you create an object using parameterized constructor here we are sending some value using some parameters here we are trying to assign the class level variables with the with those parameter value so this dot test which is class variable test equal to parameter or which means that we have sent argument so these are the two types of constructor we will try to see how to create objects using these constructors so the by using the first which is no argument constructor we are creating an object called obj1 by using second constructor which is called parameterized constructor we are creating an object called obj2 by sending value 10 so obj2 by sending value 10 so here for obj1 the variable test value would be 0 because it is using some default constructor or no argument constructor whereas for obj2 the test variable would hold value 10 because we are sending 10 as an explicit parameter now we are trying to print the values of obj1 and obj2 if we run this code you would see the following output obj1 equal to 0 obj2 is 10 so this is the simplest way of explaining constructor types and the constructor usages thanks for watching